you're replacing a rubber diaphragm on a slide. 93 Virago 535. I'm gonna grind this edge, this metal lip, right off. Not completely, just enough where this thing takes a little bit to pop off and push back on, and it kind of holds it all together. It actually turns out really, really nicely. I go just a little bit at a time. That way I don't grind too much, because if you grind too much, then this thing just slips on and off really easy, and it's hard to keep it on there. What I do just before I start you know, grinding anything off is take a marker, and I mark the diaphragm where this little knob is here. This is my mom's screwdriver, so don't hate me because it's pink. Then all I do is I go in here and I just test it to see if it comes off. If it doesn't pop off, I just grind it a little more. Okay, so that's kind of that's what I'm looking for right there. This edge kind of like that. And you can see that right here it's kind of rubbed over even. Um, so that's just a little low right there. It'll be fine though because I have the rest. But that low spot's where I'm going to start. I want this to pop up at the very tightest that it can. That way when it goes back on, it goes back on the tightest it can. Grind it off this top ring just enough so that there's still a lip there. When the plastic washers go back on, you kind of have to snap them on. And I like that because it just keeps everything held together just a little bit better. Okay, I have everything cleaned up, including my diaphragm, my slide, and my two plastic washers. So I'm going to take a gasket maker and run in the edges of this thing first. I'm going to take my safety pin, kind of push it around. That way I get it into all the corners. The bottom washer goes on first, and you want to make sure that the groove is up. There it goes. I'm going to run a little more gasket maker in the groove of this thing. And these diaphragms I got, they have a lip on one side. Where I put the lip down into the groove of the other plastic ring. I'm going to run a little more of this black gasket maker around the edge. Make sure it gets full coverage around there. Then my ring is going to go on the top ring, same direction. Now, I gotta make sure that thing is perfectly aligned here. That way everything goes back together smooth and your carburetor runs correctly when it's all said and done. Just take and set these guys upside down, like this. And I'm gonna put some heavy in this box. That way, it holds everything together for a good 24 hours and they'll be ready to go.